Hey, what's going on guys? How's it going today? Um, today in this lesson I want to give you 13 very commonly used open chords, okay? Now there's a lot more open chords than this, but these are very common, very common chords, okay? So if you're a beginner um, and you know these 13 chords, as far as the open position goes, you are going to be finding that you use these a whole lot in a lot of songs. Um, there's a lot more chords, but a lot a lot of other chords are played in the bar position. These chords that I'm going to be showing you are open position chords, meaning that they contain open strings, okay? And by an open string, I mean that you play that string open without fretting any notes, okay? So these chords contain open strings within them. That's why they're called open chords. So there's going to be five major chords, three minor chords, and five dominant seventh chords, okay? So we'll start with the major. <clears throat> okay, so the five important uh, major open chords that you're going to be using spell the word caged, okay, so it's easy to remember. And that's actually going to be a lesson on the concept of caged, but that's why these are your five important open major chords, okay? So you have your C chord, your A chord, your G chord, your E chord, and your D chord. It spells caged, okay? So your first one looks like this, C chord. <laughs> Okay, now notice you're only playing the five strings. You're not playing your low E string that's X'd out as shown in the diagram. So that's your C major, your open C major chord. Your next chord is your open A major chord, which looks like this. Okay, again, notice you're not playing your low E string. You're only playing these five strings. The next chord is your G chord, your open G major chord. Okay, now, now this chord uses all six strings. Next chord is your E major chord open, which again uses all six strings. Your last major chord is your D major chord, which only uses four strings. The E string and the A string are X'd out. Okay, so those are your five major chords, five most commonly used major chords open in the open position. Caged, C-A-G-E-D. Okay, now for the minor. Okay, so now for the minor chords, there's only going to be three of them that are commonly used in the open position, and that is the A minor, the E minor, and the D minor, okay? So here's your A minor. Okay, now notice that that only uses five of the six strings. The low E string is X'd out. And you have your E minor, which uses all six strings. Then you have your D minor, which uses only four strings, and again the E and the A string are X'd out. Okay, so E minor, A minor, D minor. Now for the dominant seventh chords. Okay, now the five most commonly used open position dominant seventh chords are, again, they spell caged, C-A-G-E-D. So we're just going to use the open chord that I showed you in the first part of the major chords, but now we're going to add the dominant seventh in there. So your C7 chord is going to look like this. which is basically just a C chord, but you're putting your pinky down on the third fret of the G string, as shown in the diagram. OK, 
Okay, now the next chord is A, A7. So it looks like this. Okay, now notice it was the same as the A major chord, but I just lifted my middle finger up. So now the G string is open. The next chord is the G7 chord. So that looks like this. Okay, all six strings looks just like that diagram. Now you have your E7 chord, which again, you're just lifting up one of your fingers from the regular E major chord, you're lifting up one of your fingers and that creates the E7 chord. So you're lifting up your third finger in this example. Okay, so that's your E7. Now you have your D7 chord, which only uses four strings and the E and the A are, again, muted, or not played. So here's your D7 chord. Okay, so that's your five dominant seven chords in the open position that will be most commonly used. So remember, cage, C-A-G-E-D. And then for the minor chords, you have E, A, and D, okay? Those are your 13 most commonly used open chords, at least as a beginner. So there's a lot more open chords and all kinds of cool chords to come, but this is a beginner lesson, so I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot.